Hi! And welcome back to Coretha's Corner. And as you know, I am Miss Coretha. And today, can you guess what we're going to be discussing? But I'm going to show you today. Well, if you're looking at this, this is the clue. We are, I am going to show you how to make strawberry preserves. It's really, really simple. And strawberries are in season right now. And my sweetheart and I went out and we bought these cherries from a farm in the Oxnard area. And we got a, a what's called a half a flat. So that's about nine baskets. <laughs> nine baskets, let's see, one, two, three, actually, one, two, three, six baskets of strawberries, okay? And what you do, you want to wash your strawberries really well under some cold running water. And you want to take the green stems off of all of the strawberries. So we want to decap them. And I've got this lovely knife that I got from Quentin Middleton Knives. And so what all you're going to need really for strawberry preserves are some pectin, some sugar, some strawberries, and, um, and your jars. Okay. So we're going to do this in, in segments, and this video is actually probably going to be done in about four or five segments. But to, to kick it off, like I mentioned, we are going to take all of the stems off of the strawberries. I think you can see the stems, or the green stems, and, um, and we're going to place them in our clear bowl. All right, so it's just really simple. You, can, you have two options. You can take and just cut the whole cap of the strawberry off but as you can see you're going to be losing some of the strawberry here whereas if you take it you're going to take and cut right into that stem and you're just going to remove the cap see that very simple and what I like to do is I like to just cut my strawberries in half or I might quarter them. If you want to quarter them, you can quarter them. You just put them in your bowl. And I have my... I'm going to always do it here on your cutting board. I only did it in my hand like that to just show you quickly how it's done. But you can just, like I said, just cut around that cap just like that. Okay. And you slice the strawberry in half. Now you can go in and cut all of the caps off first set them aside and then you're going to you could actually cut them all in half at the same time so you're not it saves a little bit more time if you do it that way so again we're just going to cut cut all of these in half cut the caps off cut the caps off okay cut the caps off And I really don't want to bore all of you with cutting all of these, so we're going to stop the camera here in just a second. And, um, and when we come back, we will have all of these caps taken off. Okay, so be right back. We have now cut up all of our strawberries, and I want to show you really quickly what these are going to look like. So let me... Um, tilt the strawberries up so you can see that we have cut them all up into halves and quarters, small pieces. And you could leave these whole if you wanted to as long as you just cut all the caps off um, because eventually you're going to mash up all the strawberries to make preserves. They don't have to stay like this, although this kind of makes them pretty in the jar. Okay, and by the way, this knife this knife right here was made, like I said, by Quentin Middleton, and it's really, really sharp. <laughs> it's super sharp, and but you got to really be careful because you can cut your fingers, you can cut your fingernails with it. So I, I do advise you to be very careful. But I, in using this, I've recognized how well made it is. So you might want to look him up. Google Quentin Middleton, M I D D L E T O N to learn about his knives. He's a very talented man. And um, 
uh, knife making is an art and so is making strawberry preserves <laughs> so anyway uh, we'll be right back but I wanted to show you that you want to put some sugar on these okay and just plain white sugar and you want to take and just see I should have had my sugar open already but I don't but that's okay this is a real kitchen I'm not trying to be fake but you just want to pour your sugar right over the top of that. You're going to mix all of the sugar into those strawberries. And we are going to set this aside and let that sugar soak in overnight. And this will also keep our strawberries from getting any kind of mold on them or any kind of decomposition. And so you just shake that around. You see what that looks like? Isn't that pretty? Okay, I'll be right back. Wait. I'll be right back. <laughs> 